Nice to meet you, great to have you here on the red carpet. Maybe we could begin with an introduction um, to the film and your role um, in producing it. Uh, well, I'm a costume designer for How to Have Sex. And I'm Natasha Laws, and I'm the makeup and hair designer for How to Have Sex. And this is just like, I think as a British millennial, uh, an unbelievably relatable film on, on so many levels. Um, and particularly how authentically Molly Manning Walker has managed to kind of recreate the feeling of being one of these holidays. Where did you start in, in from your two aspects um, in bringing that to life? Uh, so I started on the strip in Malia. So I went out and I walked up and down that strip for four days and I spoke to everyone on it and um, took photos. So I had, when, we, when it came to designing the film, I had thousands of archival images to pull from. And that, that's sort of where it began. 20 plus years ago, I actually went there <laughs> for a girl's holiday. Yeah. So I had that in my mind. Uh, nothing much has actually changed. <laughs> um, but then loads of research, uh, Pinterest, and you know, just Googling loads of things. Huge, huge uh, mood boards. And then slowly, slowly pick out the aspects that would suit the actors. And uh, it's making them look younger as well, wasn't it? it yeah. Was, that was uh, the main thing. And I think the thing is, Molly had already written backstory stories so when we got you know once you've read the script then Molly has backstories for all of these casts so as you start you know as we start our process of designing makeup and costume we know who these characters are and who they're meant to be and you just build on that I loved how much thought she put into everything when I was reading all the press notes and stuff like even the fact that they're probably taking hand luggage so all their clothes would need to fit in like a small bag mm -hmm. sort of adding to this thing of them all being quite skimpy yeah. you know how how detailed do you go in with thinking about that sort of stuff you go in so the hand luggage thing yeah the hand luggage thing was incredibly important and also what's so like lovely when you look at the photos you get groups maybe like it would be me, Tash, and another girl. And they and they do these things with outfits where maybe they all wear the same colour but a different dress and then trainers. And regionally it was really important for me because fashion changes from the north to the south. And I think the key thing with our film for every department is that it had to be real because it's a really important script and it's a really important film. And so you you need people to know these people. You need to recognise them in yourself or your friends or your family. Did you have a favourite costume, dress, piece? Or were there any kind of like moments where the girls were like, oh my God, I don't know if I can wear that? I mean, it's very much a collaborative. Um, Lara, who plays Sky, like, there's a green dress that she wears, which I am obsessed with. And I must admit, when we were trying on in the fitting, I wasn't quite sure how it went on at the start. Um, and then Mia, Tara's green dress had to be really iconic for me because when you see her alone on the strip, you need all eyes on her. Um, but they're all just so fun to dress. I mean, there is nothing not fun about dressing girls and boys for a weekend in Malia. And, you know, one of the things I was thinking about the makeup as well, it's like this thing, you know, of like the glitter, but at some point, you know, they're all quite sweaty. And it's, so it's not, it's not about making them look perfect. It's no. making them look like they have just slapped it on and maybe been out all night. L uh, lots of baby oil gel. Uh, everyone had spray guns ready in their holsters to spray everyone. Uh, yeah, a little trick is like um, uh, greasing down all your little baby hair so everyone looks really, you know, matting it to the face. Everyone looks really sweaty. Um, yeah, it was fun. And even the, the sort of image that's been used on a lot of the posters and stuff oh, of Mia, you know, with the glitter, I just feel like even that itself feels quite iconic. Yeah, uh, yeah, I love gemstones. Got lots of time for gemstones. Uh, so that was is a, a nice contrast. Well, telling the story of you know the darkness. Um, uh, one of the um, posters, you know, she's got all the makeup down here. She's sweaty. She's obviously um, very harrowing. And then you've got the kind of other side of it where they're all glitch stuff and gemstones and ready to go out. What for you is the big takeaway from this film? I and mean, it does feel like it's a really important story to tell, but it's also showing the fun side, yeah. but also the downsides of, you know, the kind of conditions that women are put into. And I think the thing that's really important is it's an observation, it's not an accusation. And it's really important that people, everyone feels there is a safe space for this conversation to build because people will have all done things that maybe they regret or they're not comfortable with now but it's about saying actually 
what we need to do from here is move it forward like what's happened before has happened but let's l let's lose this gray area let's say you know are you okay with this are you having fun do you still want to do this like yes and no is too binary and i think i just i think it's really important that people don't feel and i don't feel they do feel accused by it because no. It's not that. And I think the role that the actors played was just so, so important. And, and definitely the thing of like actually bringing men into the conversation rather than it being, yes, it's great to have a female perspective, but for them not to feel alienated, more to be brought into it and be asking questions, having conversations. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely um, enabling a discussion, um, as George said, not, uh, you know, accusing, uh, accusational, um, but just hopefully it's going to encourage people to have more empathy, intuition, and just actually care about uh, what the other person's going through when you're with them, uh, and not being selfish, um, but just uh, thinking about your, your actions before you do anything. And what does it mean to you to be here at the awards tonight, be nominated, and I guess in general seeing the phenomenal response to this film and Molly's work. Do you know, it's just, it's hard going away for a couple of months and doing a film and it's hard doing a film that's, uh, you know, the subject is big and deep and I'm just so glad that our film and all these other films are being celebrated how they should because it's an amazing life for independent films. I'm super Yeah, it's amazing. Um, all the films are amazing and they've all got amazing messages. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to be here tonight and uh, celebrate all the hard work that everybody put into all these films. Amazing. Thanks so much. Really enjoyed the night. Thank you.